I want to free Palestine for Mother's Day. I want this war to end, this genocide to stop. I want for Palestine to be free. I want liberation for Palestine, which will mean liberation for the mothers of Palestine who have put their lives on the line to protect their children. Uh, I want that mothers of the mothers of Gaza should also celebrate the mothers uh, like all the other world. Mothers in the world. Stop killing children and mothers and, and people that we should be free on, on the their land. You know, all mothers should be able to tuck their kids in at night and not wonder if they're going to wake up or not. And they should also hug their children like we do. They shouldn't have to watch their children be burned. They shouldn't have to watch their children um, have you know their rights taken away from them. All I want for Mother's Day is a free Palestine. Uh, I want peace and I want liberty for the Palestinian people. They also deserve to live. I want the mothers in Palestine to be able to have, wake up with safety and peace. I want for, if, if there is only one thing I hope for, for this Mother's Day is for Palestinian women to know what freedom looks like and to taste the freedom that all mothers around the world can taste. And I want a free Palestine. Free, free Palestine. I want all mothers to have the right to have their children safety. For the children, I want them to stop killing children. That's what I want. I want my children to grow up in a world where all children are treated the same and we actually care about each other. And I want the world to be a better place for my kids. Mothers in Gaza, they're burying their children one by one as we speak. Some of them have no more children to bury. The situation for mothers in Gaza is disastrous. Not just the fact that women are picking up dead babies um, or trying to dig their babies and children out of the rubble, but also um, they also got injured children, children with legs ripped off, arms ripped off, blinded, major gashes in their heads, not able to get medical treatment. Pregnant women are having to go through a C-section with no anesthesia. Some women can't even feed their children because they're so malnourished, they can, their bodies cannot produce milk to feed their children. So they see them withdrawing from life and dying right in front of them. That's just to give you an idea of what Palestinian mothers have to go through. And I cannot comprehend what it's like. I see these footages and I see these pictures and it pains me to my bones. But still, the pain that they're going through is so incomprehensible that I don't know what they do. How can they carry on in their lives? And they do carry on. They keep going and keep doing what they're doing and they keep protecting their children because that's what mothers do. But even besides all of the, those sorts of horrors, um, mothers in Gaza are also trying to keep their children entertained, distracted from the constant bombing, distracted from the hunger. And it's just incredible the fact that they're feeling, some of them are feeling failures as mothers because they can't provide food for their children. They've got no milk left in their breast because they're starving themselves as well as their children starving. Um, it's just a horrendous situation and then being forced to flee. 600,000 children like crammed into Rafah which is currently being bombarded. But I do hear from people in, in Gaza that people who are, able, when they're able to get mobile phone access, are heartened by the fact that there are protests happening all over the world. And I think that's where we have to keep protesting, even though it's tiring to keep protesting after seven months. We've got to think about the fact that how exhausting it is for Palestinians that they have to keep on going and trying to survive and, um, and trying to resist. And so while they're resisting and trying to survive, we've got to keep protesting. Regardless of how tired we are, we've got to find ways of keeping on protesting. You don't have to be a mother to let the rage and sorrow of a mother's love fill your hearts as you chant, Free, free Palestine!